Hey, everybody, welcome to Man vs. 7800, the only show on the internet where you watch somebody play video games. This is a completely original idea. I came up with it the other day. Uh, no. Uh, thanks, everybody, for joining. The chat's already going. The familiar faces that we love to see. Atari Creep, good to see you. Uh, Atari Creep has uh, his own YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed or checked that out, please do so. We got C Money, Hugo, Jeremiah. Uh, Ramy had to run out and get cigarettes, so we, we got to wait for uh, Ramy to come back. Um, but yeah, that... This is a episode that could either be a lot of fun or really boring for you guys to watch. Let me take this image off. Uh, nope, not that image. This one. Okay. This could be a lot of fun because Ninja Golf is a fun game to play. Um, but to play it well, I don't think it's a fun game to, <laughs> to play well and, and win at. So... Um, because I find that the best, and let me know if the audio levels are okay too, guys. It, to me, the gameplay audio sounds kind of loud, but when I turn it down to where it's appropriate for me, I, I think you guys can't hear it. So let me know how the audio is. Just give me a thumbs up, thumbs down or something. Um, yeah, uh, no, Raimi's getting cigarettes for everybody, Hugo. Um, so, you know, get, be prepared. Uh, you'll get them in probably four to six weeks, um, depending on how the mail is running. So, yeah, this could be a, a fun game to watch. It could be an uh, extremely boring episode. Okay, thanks, Hugo. Yep, thanks, Obsidian. Audio is good. Always, always want to check as I get a phone call right as we start. Let's make sure it's not an emergency. And... Must not have been because they, they hung up. Anyway, sorry about that. So, Ninja Golf is one of those uh, you you either hate it or you love it kind of games on, on the 7800. Um, we actually, me and uh, Vinny, did an interview with David Dent, who is credited for programming this game along with one other person. Um, and he had a lot of cool insights about the game. Um, you know, the uh, what the request was when they started programming it, kind of what was brought down from, from the top. They wanted... A sports game and then they wanted a ninja game and they said combine the two so if you haven't watched that interview uh it's on the channel somewhere just search ninja golf david dent or Terry network podcast or whatever and, and you'll find it um yeah smokes are expensive hugo um yeah i don't i i've switched to vaping i got all these colorful um things now i don't know they're okay i feel like i'm smoking you know, a, a sucker or a lollipop or something. They're so sweet, but hey, what can you do? Hey, good to see you, Jenkins, Joel, everybody. Glad to see everybody's here. I think with uh, without further ado, uh, yeah, quitting is the best thing you could do, honestly. I mean, I, I wish I would have never started, but that's the cliche thing that everybody says. So, you know, if I, my wife quit, my wife is amazing with the smoking stuff. Just real quick aside, um... You know, when we had our kids, both times she found out she was pregnant, she quit smoking cold turkey right then and there, the second she found out. I don't know how somebody can do that. I mean, obviously, you put your kids first, but it, it didn't even seem like a struggle for her. And it's not like, you know, she didn't smoke a ton, but, you know, uh, just stuff that people can do. And then I'm sitting here and I, I can't quit for the life of me. So I don't know. Yeah, it, People end up missing it. I'm the weird one. Did not start smoking until I was 23. Need to quit. Yeah, no, I don't think that's very weird, C-Money. You know, people start at all different times. You know, of course, I watched my parents smoke my whole life. They smoked in the car with us and stuff. And you just, uh, you know, kind of picked it up. It looked cool. And, and friends did it. And peer pressure. So, but anyway, this isn't the uh, the uh, Man vs. Smoking podcast. This is the Man vs. Small... <laughs> 7800 game uh podcast or not pod it's a live stream oh speaking of which i i need to find a formal way to make this announcement uh Vinny announced it on social media it's kind of been making the rounds and i don't think it affects too many people but the atari network podcast is canceled for now um and i know a lot of people look forward to that we had a ton of support for the atari network podcast and i i 
I guess I, I'll explain it more in an announcement. I think when we do our giveaway announcement, I'm going to kind of do a good and bad news thing with that. But um, this YouTube thing is a lot of work. It's really hard, as I'm sure the uh, the Atari creep can attest to and, and others. Uh, um, you know, Obsidian and everybody who's tried Hugo. Um, if you've done YouTube for any amount of time, it's a lot of work to try and do it well. And I, I'm not even that great at it, and it takes a lot of work. So... I, I wanted to either cut a video a week, a podcast or something, and, and the Atari Network podcast got cut for now. Um, never say never. I hope to bring it back one day. Um, so just want to let people know that. And I appreciate all the support. Um, you know, everybody that would come in and watch. The chat was excellent. I, I wish I could do it all, but, uh, you know, my work and family life was suffering. So I, I, I have to keep in mind that this hobby is a hobby you know <laughs> but um okay i ordered the reprint for this game not sure when they will start shipping uh yeah i the thing with atari is they take forever to ship a lot of this stuff but it seems like if the stuff is on amazon then they'll they'll start shipping pretty quickly um but i still think even if you can get it on amazon i think getting it from atari direct takes a lot longer i don't know why um no uh jeremiah so he said so no more top 100 atari games of all time uh so yes we're, we're still gonna do that um there's no ill will between me and Vinny. we're still good friends i love Vinny. if it wasn't for him i wouldn't have even thought of doing this youtube thing um and he's been a great support he's kind of been a mentor to me on, on how to do this stuff so it's not a thing where I, I, you know, I say I'm mad at you, Vinny, or I don't like you no more, or vice versa. We're still good friends. We're still working on, on that video. We want to do other projects. We, you know, maybe even do live streams together, more community gameplays and stuff. So it's not, it's nothing like that. Like, you will see stuff with me and Vinny in the future. Um, but, uh, yeah, thanks, Jeremiah, for, for bringing that up. Yeah, there's no ill will between the two of us. But okay, I think that's enough banter and introduction. Um, we're about seven minutes in, and we need to start playing some Ninja Golf. So, without further ado, this is Ninja Golf for the Atari 7800. Um, you can play it in four difficulties, easy, normal, hard, and kamikaze. Somebody was telling me they were doing a one-life challenge. That just sounds really hard to me. I don't know about that. Um, can you find another co-host? It wasn't really a co-host thing. That Okay, so with the podcast, just real quick again, just to clear there, that the podcast required a lot of work, and Benny couldn't uh, do that work because he does you know movies and, and, and stuff. Um, so there was a lot of prep and stuff that went into it, scheduling the guests and the interviews and, and doing research, making the thumbnails, trying to sound like we knew what we were talking about you know, getting a rundown, and that, that stuff, it eats up some time, like, the day we would shoot, I would probably log in and get started two hours before, and again, you know, working on videos all week, and then, and then jumping on to, to prep for that, took a lot of time away from family, or, or I'd have to leave work early or something, so, uh, <laughs> I can help, I'm entertaining LOLs, um, yeah, no, I mean, I, Really, I, I would be open to being on a podcast. I just don't want to be doing the work for it. Or I can't. I shouldn't say I don't want to because I enjoy doing the work too. Um, but I just don't have the time to do all the work. So um, if, if somebody wants to run a podcast and I can just pop on for an hour and, and talk with you, I, I'm open to that. Um, but I just don't have the time anymore to prep and do the thumbnails and, and the, the rundown and stuff. You know, as, as I'm sure our podcast appeared like it was just wasn't much work, but there is a little bit of work that went to it. So, yeah, if you want me on your podcast as just or Vinny, for that matter, you know, we'll, we're open to that. But I just can't really host it no more, I guess, is, is uh, what it comes down to. But again, OK, enough of that. We're getting into ninja golf one of my favorite 7800 games um so ninja golf we got four difficulties i feel like every time i beat ninja golf 
it's because I run away from the enemies, and I feel like it's boring because I spend a lot of my time running while I get kicked in the butt. Um, I feel like that's the most effective way to play it. That's how I beat it on Kamikaze. I'm going to try to do it the right way where you fight all the enemies. So um, after many long years of ninja training, you are finally ready for the most difficult test of all. Nine holes of ninja golf. So here we go. We are ready. So nine holes, there is no back nine on ninja golf. It's just a straight front nine. Um, angled shots never go as far. So if you hit it straight, you'll, you'll get the most length. But the more you angle it one way or another, it gets shorter. Um, the challenge here is to try to get it out as far as you can without allowing it to cycle back. Um, you have a jump button, an attack button, and that's about it. If you don't hold a direction with attack, you throw your ninja stars, and that is pretty much all there is to ninja golf. And uh, it's a cool game. I, I enjoy it quite a bit. Um, and there's a lot of pickups you don't see that much either. Are you on the Discord? Uh, like right now, right the second? No. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll, I'll be on it right after the show, Hugo. Uh, yeah, we have the Atari Network Discord for those who uh, don't know or haven't joined up yet. Um, where you can just talk about Atari, um, video games in general, uh, the videos that we put out if you want to have a, a discussion on those. Or, you know, we often share videos um, from other people, or I say we, the, the people on the Discord do. So if you're interested, the Atari Network Discord, it's free. Um, it's kind of like a message board forum thing, but more uh, modern. So give give that a go if, if you're into Discord, or even if you're not, but you want to see what it's like, um, get on there. It's free. It's fun. I've had a lot of uh, cool interactions with the guys on there. Um, so, yeah, join up on Discord if you haven't. Discord was something I wasn't too familiar with. What actually got me into Discord was trying to get support for my uh, Atari VCS. I was told to go on Discord and... and uh, you know, chat with them to try and get my VCS issue taken care of when I first got it. So, um, after that, you know, I kind of stayed on Discord, uh, stuck around. Uh, Atari Age has a Discord server, all that stuff. Um, so yeah. Oh, okay, that was for <laughs> Atari Creep. I was wondering, like, are, are, do you, are you asking if I'm logged in right now and chatting? No. If somebody's on there <laughs> impersonating me, probably not. But, uh, yeah. So, again, Ninja Golf, you, you just saw, instead of the putting, you fight the dragons famously. And the, the dragon battle is really cool. It's obviously very much uh, Shades of Shinobi um, from the Master System. Um, again, I just so much to love about this game, or at least to enjoy. Um, again, to be, I feel like to be most effective... Um, running away from your opponents like I uh, like I'm not showing there because I'm getting my butt kicked ooh extra life um seems to be the best way to conserve your life for like the later levels so I do this a lot where you just avoid them while they kick your at your butt um but we're not gonna we're gonna try and do this the right way extra life pickup that was huge uh, you don't get many of those a lot of times you get potion and ninja stars are the most common pickups so um yeah oh and thank you. yeah hugo does a lot of work on the discord he kind of made it pretty and made all the topics and stuff so thank you to og hugo for that um because i knew nothing about discord and it was it was kind of messy when i was setting it up because again i didn't have, <laughs> i didn't know what i was doing i didn't have a lot of time so we, we kind of had to set an admin for that and uh he's done a great job with it um so absolutely. So we just picked up the shield pickup, which gives you uh, limited invulnerability. When you pick those up, I do feel like the best use is to kind of run ahead because um, you're not taking any damage. So there's no point in in fighting. Um, and your ultimate goal is to get through all nine holes. There's also there's a couple pickups, like I said, um, most common is the potion and the ninja stars. I think uh, next you have like the, the full heal med pack. It kind of looks like a Red Cross uh, symbol. 
Um, the shield is probably in that same category. And then you have the really rare stuff, which uh, seems to be the extra life, which we, we were lucky enough to get. And then there's one that I think I've, I've seen you know, maybe twice that warps you to the very end of the level uh, that you're on. So right to the putting green. Um, I think it's just an arrow icon. Um, so that that's pretty cool. Um, I never heard of uh, somebody in the chat just a little bit ago made me aware of the uh, one life challenge on Ninja Golf. That sounds very hard. Like that. I don't know how I how far I can make it on one life. I bet you I can make it to like the fifth or sixth hole. Um, the points, the points, right, Jeremiah, the points. Um, yeah, if you're going for a high score, you definitely want to fight. That's the best way to get points. Um, I guess I, I, I was looking at it in terms of just getting to the ninth hole and uh, becoming a ninja master. Uh, but yeah, absolutely. What am I thinking of? Life is points, guys. Um, if you're not getting all the points, then what are you doing? Very obvious. Thank you, Jeremiah, for uh, for that correcting me there. I was not thinking right. Um, the whole the hole in one is crazy rare. Yeah, is that what it's called? The the warp is a hole in one. That makes sense. That uh, see money. That makes sense if that's what it's called. That's um really really cool. A really cool name for it, and that's it's basically what it is. I always try to hit the ball. Am I the only one that always tries to hit the ball right on the flag? Like, it, it's not going to make any difference, but I always try. Oh, oh. Oh, got it just in time. Came in clutch with the full life pickup. Wow, I got so excited. I uh, was not ready for the dragon at all, and I'm going to lose all my life back. <laughs> I was just so excited by that full life pickup. Came in clutch right at the moment, and I've wasted half my life already. Isn't that just the way? You get you get your life back, and then you waste half of it doing absolutely nothing. Oh well. What can I say? So thank you everybody for hopping in and watching the gameplay here. I hope you're entertained. I hope you're enjoying what you're seeing. Um, underwater is the hardest part of the game. Yeah, it, it's very hard. Um, I don't know. The sharks, I found no real good way to deal with the sharks, so I just kind of try to jump over them. Does anybody know? I guess the ninja stars probably make the most sense as, like, the best way to deal with the sharks. Um, but yeah, I have found no real good consistent way to to deal with the shark enemies they just seem to suck down your health and and yeah uh the frogs i don't find too bad the gophers i usually just jump over um the bird here can be annoying if if you get on cycle where he hits you with the egg like that i assume it's an egg i mean it's white We'll we'll take jeremiah's approach and even though we got invincibility we're gonna get all the points we can because usually I just run to the exit there. But we need points. He's right. What? Can't have coffee without my smokes anymore. I agree. I got my coffee right here in this um, very rare and, and hard to find, no longer in production Atari Network mug. Um, that's the other thing. I wanted to let you guys know. The merch store is, is back up and there's merch for the new um, Atari Network logo. I was waiting to see if Atari was going to put up a cease and desist before I really talked about that. But yeah, I was able to... Uh, the new logo worked. It, it accomplished what we wanted it to. And the merch store is back up. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in Atari Network logo mugs and stuff like that, um, it is there with the, the new logos. Um, I, I know the old logo... Uh, was a lot better because it had the Atari Fuji in it um, and, and the Atari font and stuff. And it was very much Atari. But um, the new logo is fine. It's got its own distinct feel. So, um, yeah. If you're interested in supporting the network, the, the merch is a fun way to do so. And 
and you get something. And really, I I made it to where the profit margins were as low as I, I could while making it worthwhile. So, like, every mug, I only make a buck off of. And that way, it's reasonable for you guys. So what they wanted me, they have, like, a recommended pricing guide for merch and stuff on, on the, uh, the thing I decided to use. And it was, like, ridiculous. It was... <laughs> A uh, little insider thing. It gave you like uh, what margin of profit you could expect, how many subscribers you have, you know, how many orders you could expect and stuff. A and then you could kind of let it figure it out for you. And it's like, okay, I got a small channel, uh, you know, whatever. At the time it was like 2,000 subscribers or less. And it was like, yeah, you're not going to make shit off of, or you're not going to make anything off of your uh, um, merch here. So we recommend doing outrageous prices they wanted me to do like 25 bucks a mug um and like 30 bucks a shirt and stuff and i was like no no because i i've never bought merchandise from like anybody off youtube like i bought like stuff for for you know bands and and video games and stuff before but not for a youtube guy and i definitely won't pay 30 dollars for the stuff um, it's not like I'm selling incredible controllers like what OG Hugo sells on on his uh, website and, and eBay uh, store, which you should all check out. Um, because again, I Vinny was so impressed that just an aside while we're playing uh, the game here, Vinny loves that uh, two button competition pro joystick that uh, Hugo sent out. Um, and, and this is real. I mean, he sent me a message. And he's like, dude. He's like, you uh, you definitely didn't uh, sell this controller properly because this is like the best controller I I've used on the 7800 outside of like Ed Ladd and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, no, it's pretty good, right? And he's like, no, dude, it's amazing. It's incredible. Like, so, and I agree, it's a great controller. Um, Vinny loves it. He wants his own version of Hugo's controller with a big disco ball on it. He wants to make it like the, the official... Atari 7800 Forever joystick, um, which Vin Vinny always has great, great ideas like that, you know, grand ideas and stuff, so, uh, hopefully, uh, for, for the handful of fans, maybe he could get his own limited edition, uh, Disco Stew version of, uh, that controller. Speaking of which, I, I think I mentioned it already. Uh, we're going to do a giveaway soon, the 2,500 subscriber giveaway. Um, I think the prizes are, are pretty much set in stone now um, as I lose another life. Way too early to lose that life. Um, yeah, the prizes are set in stone, so we're going to do the Atari Age um, homebrew game of, of the winner's choice. I think that's a fun prize, and it, it gets the homebrew out there more. Oh, speaking of homebrew, I got something else to talk about there. But um, let me focus on killing this dragon. There we go. Okay. So um, the the prizes will be the Atari Age homebrew. Now, uh, you can choose any homebrew from Atari Age uh, if you win. Um, no hardware. You can't. I won't buy the Aladdin controller for you. I won't buy the Flash uh, uh, cartridge for you but um jaguar homebrew 5200 7800 if they still have the 8-bit stuff links whatever you want I'll, I'll buy it have it shipped to you um so that's the first prize second prize is that joystick i was just talking about um which is excellent and, and again i encourage you guys to check him out hugo does some great stuff he gets messed with by atari a lot which I, i'm not sure why but um you know, look on eBay and, and Google OG Hugo's Retro Mod Shop. And then third prize is going to be, yet again, uh, merch from the merch store. So just a FYI, the giveaway is coming up. The video uh, with the, the rules for entry and uh, the prizes and, and other announcements will be on Tuesday. This upcoming Tuesday of next week. And we will uh, once again do the drawing on... Uh, the April 27th edition, I believe, of Man vs. 7800. So the deadline to get in will be like a week after that Tuesday announcement video goes up. And then um, the following Man vs. 7800 will be when you can um, see if you won or not. And I encourage you to watch the episode. I know... Uh, 
you know, it's always great if you guys are watching. I, not only does it look good for me because I get your raw reaction of winning, um, but also, you know, it, it, it was, it's kind of nerve-wracking to have to uh, track down the winner. Uh, not that it was very difficult. I think I was able to within 24 hours. Um, yeah, I was like, oh, my goodness, what if, like, I can't find this guy or he's not watching. He just is like, yeah, I'll enter and whatever. And, and so... He uh, just never comes back, and then all of a sudden he finds out he won, but I had to repick a winner, and he's all mad. So uh, make sure you watch the Man vs. 7800 if you enter um, the giveaways um, so that you know if you won or not. Okay, so we're doing okay here. We're not doing fantastic. Um, but again, I'm trying to play it in a more traditional way than what I normally do. Like, when I beat the game for uh, the Man vs. 7800 series originally, when I beat Ninja Golf, it was strictly by just running away. When <laughs> um, I beat it on Kamikaze 2, uh, which I did not record. I think I was just playing. Um, I wish I would have recorded that, just so I'd have proof that I did it, you know? Yeah, not that it was very interesting to watch, but... So, yeah, we're doing terrible right now. Generally, I like to have one life in the pocket when I fight the final guy. Uh, take a quick look at the comments here. Thanks a lot, guys. Leave a thumbs up if you're enjoying the video. I shoot around the water, says Sea Money. Yeah, that would be the smart idea. Uh, that'd probably be the best way to deal with the sharks. Uh, love the quick transition to, that avoid the enemies. Yeah, you can use those transitions between screens to, to avoid enemies quickly. If you're smart with it, you can transition it back and forth by hitting uh, in, in particular places. Um, Atari has to know that Jag Mini would kill. Um, I, I think they do. Uh, I think they do. Oh, this was a part of a longer conversation. Can you imagine the hype around the Jaguar Mini, says Crypto? Oh, my God. I People are into the Jaguar right now. I think this would be the time to do it. If there is ever a time to do a Jaguar Mini, this has to be the time. I don't think there there will ever be a better time. I think it's, at, it's probably at the maximum, um, you know, uh, return. Uh, this is a sweet game. I'd like to buy original copy, but pricey. I would just buy their their new ones that they put out. Um, number one, those have color. La I think this one has a color label too. But um, they're they're pretty much exactly the same, guys. I mean, there, there's some prestige to having the original versions, I guess, and it, it's cool. But you know, it's a great game to have. I'd play it any way you can. Is what I always say. Ramy says his wife says hi. Hello, Mrs. Butler. Or Miss, but yeah, Mrs. Butler. Good to see you. Thank you so much for uh, saying hello. Um, let's see, Crypto. I'm happy playing Lynx games currently on the Atari 50th and emulation. I don't care if they remake another one or not. But Jaguar Mini console. Holy crap! I would love that. This chat right here shows that the the Jaguar Mini would kill in this market right now. The Atari fans, they're they're all about the Jaguar right now, and I don't blame them. I've, I've kind of you know been the same way. So. Okay, let's lose our life so <laughs> so we can start over again. No, but let's see if we can make it to the end. I'm not too confident. Uh, but we're not going to change up our plan at all. We're going to try... What the heck happened there? My guy just started crouching and would not move. We're going to try to do this the right way. Um, doing very poorly. The pickups also, they have to be in your favor. Um... Right now, we're getting a lot of the basic pickups. So again, these quick screen transitions here help um, as it's going back and forth between uh, the, the rough and the tree line. It helps it. You end up missing out on uh, item drops. Oh, shoot. I'm supposed to be playing the right way. Um, you miss out on health pickups and stuff a little bit more because... It, Without the screen staying the same, you don't get as many item drops, but it does help you stay alive. And that, after all, is what we're all going for. Oh, almost. We're all just trying to stay alive. Oh. Hole in one. Look at that. We got all the special items. So we got the extra man, the hole in one. The full life pickup and the shield. I think we got all the the next rarity level stuff. Very good. Very good luck there. Wow. You don't typically get 
You don't typically get those very often, and to get one of each in, in one playthrough is really unheard of for me. I've never had that happen. Guys, it's like a double rainbow, guys. We got we got a hole in one, a full life, and a, an extra guy. I mean, win or lose, this this is going in the win co uh, column for Man vs. Seventy Eight Hundred. It's like it's like a double rainbow. I should be uh, like that one guy screaming and jumping up and down. Uh, I had to part with my jag, but kept the flash cart full of roms. Should I reunite? That's a good idea, uh, Atari Creep, because you never know. You know, with anything, you might come across a Jaguar for pretty cheap or something. And uh, yeah, uh, good to see you, Atari Creep. Thanks, thanks for popping in. Um, thanks for all the support. Make sure you again you you uh, subscribe to Atari Creep if you haven't. He's a good guy, really entertaining. Um, so there you go. Yeah, hole in one is the rarest. Sucks to get it at the end of the level, though. Yeah. Um, how do I avoid the water here? <laughs> I guess we'll just. Uh, I don't think we're gonna make it to the end, but we'll give it another go. And again, I know for a fact I could beat this game um, by what I call uh, the running and screaming method. Where you run away from the enemies and you go, ah! <laughs> Which is what I'm demonstrating here. This is how I would normally do it. You get kicked in the butt once in a while. Yeah, this is the hardest level. It, it is, and it's not, it's not the last level. It's the second to last level. But all the water makes this level... Uh, pretty unbearable. Uh, I don't think I can reach the green no matter what I do. That is a stinker. Let's see, uh, we should be able to transition this back and forth. Oh no, I guess not. I was hoping to transition this screen back and forth quite a bit, but it did not work out uh, the way I wanted it to. So I do not think we're going to make it to the end this playthrough, which sucks because we've got probably the best um, cycle of pickups we could get. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to make it. Nope. Uh, so shame has been brought upon my family and my clan. Um, and now I have to commit uh, Harry Carey on... Uh, um, live on stream here so give me a second for that um so let's just <laughs> let's take another look at the chat here uh if there is a ninja golf recharge there should be a caddy that tries to retrieve your ninja stars oh that's a really good idea crypto i like that that is a neat idea uh ordering the ps4 hori arcade stick today uh those are are uh pretty expensive ain't they Ramy? that's that's uh uh Quite the accomplishment there. The, this is the yeah hardest level, as you said. He who runs away lives to fight another day, which is my the mantra for my whole life, to be honest. So we're gonna give this another uh, another go. Real quick though, about the uh, homebrew thing I wanted to talk about earlier. Uh, I got a great um, gift in the mail today. It came this morning early. Um, Fens the spook, who I, I don't think is here. Um, sent me, what is this? Haunted Adventure Trilogy. Uh, it has the biggest freaking Atari manual that I have ever seen. Um, this manual is super thick. Like, the only thing I can think to compare it to is Petsky Robots, which I, th I think might still be thicker. But this manual, I mean, this is a book, guys. Look, look at this thing. Like, usually they're one, two, three pages. This thing has... Let's see if they numbered. This thing has uh, 47 pages. So, uh, incredibly generous offense the spook. Thank you so much. Um, it was, uh, oh, only $59.99 for the Hori arcade stick? That's a pretty good deal, actually. I thought those were you know, a, a lot more. But that, that goes to show I know nothing about modern gaming. 
Um, but no, thank you to Fence the Spook for sending that. We're going to review it for the channel. Um, it'll be uh, a review sometime in May. If there's a game you want me to review like that, um, you know, feel free to send it my way. Um, obviously, you know, please don't if you can't afford to or, or whatever. But if there's something you really think needs to be on the channel, um, like Fens did, uh, you know, go ahead and we'll make sure it gets taken care of. But that was ex extremely generous of them, and I, I appreciate it so much. So, so thank you, Fens the Spook. And everybody who supports us as we start our second game play. All the guys in Discord, the Discord community is so cool. I, again, I didn't know too much about Discord, but um, now doing that with all of you guys, chatting after the videos or, or when I have a free minute during the workday, um, is, is really a cool thing to do. And uh, if, if you haven't tried Discord, give it a try. It might not be for you, but I, I've been enjoying it. Again, it gives you, there's always somebody on there to talk Atari with, so... Um, you know, whenever you feel like popping on and, and discussing the hobby, um, you know, Discord is a cool way to do it. Um, and then we also have, like I said, the merch. We have the, the Patreon at uh, patreon.com slash 7800ProGamer is the uh, Patreon for the Atari Network. Um, we did have on there for free the uh, audio-only versions of the podcast, and I'll still, anything we do like that, I think any future interviews or whatever, we'll put, like, audio-only versions up there for free. Um, which, uh, you do have to be a registered Patreon member. Um, but I'll try to make sure that there's some incentive for, for people just to come check it out. Um, if you uh, decide to become a paid member, you get a couple benefits. Nothing too crazy. Um, of course, you get the, uh, the joy and the pleasure of supporting the Atari Network and keeping it uh going with with things to cover and and stuff like that for the channel um but you also get your name mentioned at the end of every uh traditional video that we do um and you get exclusive uh patreon videos i try to do one a week there are times where you know i might only get one a month out and i do apologize for that but you'll get exclusive behind the scenes stuff right now on patreon we're going through the entire Atari collection as I, I continue to clean and dust the shelves I was taking video um, showing off what we have we're still I think we're almost done with the 7800 collection um, and yeah just kind of doing that and, and uh, uh, hopefully encouraging you guys to discuss collections because one thing I always enjoy is seeing other people's uh, cool video game collections and, and how they choose to d display stuff and, and the, what they value as a collector you know, looking at people's video game collections, you can kind of tell a little bit about who they are as a uh, gamer or as a, a video game collector, you know. Um, so that's always fun. But yeah, we're going through the entire Atari Network uh, collection uh, for the Patreons. We're, we're doing it in several parts, so uh, there's that as well. Um, and if you can't support, like, if you feel like you're missing out and you can't afford to support on Patreon, obviously do not do it if, if you can't afford it. Um, or if you if you don't want to uh, support the channel. Um, but there, the exclusive stuff on Patreon is not, um, like, it, it's not our traditional video stuff. And I wouldn't put anything like that behind a paywall. It's just kind of bonus um uh, stuff with with less editing and stuff like that um, just behind behind the scenes type stuff so think of it as like extra features on, on a DVD or a blu-ray or something I guess would be the best way to uh, describe it is, is the kind of stuff that will be available on patreon but enough of uh, um, selling myself <laughs> Let's get back to the gameplay in the chat here. So we're doing really good. Our, our health bar hasn't really moved. Um, let's see. Uh, it's the Sony edition, Hori. Uh, I'll have to look into that because Hugo doesn't make PS4 controllers. I would buy it, Hugo. Uh, Obsidian really likes Discord. Yeah, I, Discord's pretty cool. Uh, Jolt likes the merch. Hey, I, I, I tried my best. Uh to, to try to make merch that I would get, I guess. Plus, if you join the Discord, you get my 1982 retrospective. <laughs> yeah, uh, the guys put up some cool stuff on Discord, too. Uh, 
Uh, some of them do like the, this year in, uh, um, you know, gaming type stuff, which is really cool. Um, it's always incredible for me to see how intelligent, creative you guys are uh, in the community. I, I read your comments and your um, your thoughts and stuff in, in the videos and on Discord. And I'm like, man, like really, you guys should be making the content. I don't. <laughs> I, I I feel like a, a dummy when I hear some of the stuff you guys come up with. I'm like, wow, how how do you guys, you know? how are you so good at this? And I, I'm the one actually doing this, the videos. And I, I, I feel like I don't have, <laughs> have what you guys uh, could potentially have there. So, Oh, uh, awesome. Jeremiah, $5, uh, super chat. Thank you very much. Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr. And Mario brothers for the next man versus 7,800. So I do have um, something planned for the next one, but I'll tell you what. We'll we'll go ahead and um, yeah, why not? We'll 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 nix what I had planned, and we'll go ahead. We'll do an all Nintendo Man vs. Seventy Eight Hundred uh, next time because that could give us potentially a good uh, place to stop and, and do our giveaway. So um, thank you very much too for the super chat. Very kind. I appreciate it. Always, always appreciated. Never expected. Um, thank you so much. So yeah, what we can do that. I, I was gonna do um, fight night on the the next one, and then we we're gonna do because uh, fight night's typically very short, and we were gonna do some other like joust and asteroids and stuff. But I think an all Nintendo man vs. Seventy Eight Hundred is is a cool idea. I'll get. Uh, the thumbnail and stuff together for that and we'll we'll put it up um and like i said that'll give us because we could naturally you know finish with mario brothers and, and do a drawing uh for first place prize and then wrap up with donkey kong and and do the other two prizes um in between dk and dk jr so that i like that idea and those are more popular games, too, so it might uh, encourage people to stick around. <laughs> I love your collection. Uh, will you do a game room tour? I, um, yeah, Hugo, I, I can do that. Um, my game room isn't, uh, uh it's, it's not, uh, that impressive. Vinny has an awesome game room, and I wish he would, uh, he would do that video already, as, as Hugo has requested, um, because, and he's not, like, badgering him for it. Vinny said he was going to do a game room video, and then uh, it just hasn't come to fruition yet. Um, but Vinny has an awesome game room. I, you've probably seen it in the, the background of his podcast. My game room is uh, less of a room and more of a, <laughs> of a corner uh, of a much larger room. But that's fine. Um... Yeah, we could absolutely do a, a tour of it, sort of. Um, our house that we live in is very small for our size of family. And part of it is out of necessity. Like, we couldn't afford a, a huge house at the time when we purchased this house. And the fact that we were able to even purchase, I think, was um, an incredible opportunity for us. Because we were renting um, different houses before that. Um, but we got approved for a certain loan and, and the, uh, loan only gave us, you know, it, our, the houses that we could afford weren't very large. Um, but we kind of like it cause our house is small, but it's cozy and the family's, you know, close together. You know, we don't have to go very far. The kids all have, uh, my son has his own room. The girls share a room. Um, then me and my wife have our room, but the room is only big enough for, basically like a queen size bed and, and a, a couple other things. Um, so I let her keep all her stuff in the bedroom. And what happened is, you know, we kind of, uh, modern American family, we kind of sit and eat around the TV, right? Cause that's what, um, <laughs> that's, I guess what we do, I guess not everybody. Um, so the dining room was pretty much just not used. And so I, I took it over as sort of my game room, but it's attached to the kitchen and um and the uh living room here it's kind of like a walkthrough area so that's why if you've ever seen like there's a kitchen sign behind me in some episodes 
Um, that's why. Because <laughs> the kitchen was literally right behind me. Uh, hey, Toe Muncher, you made it. Glad to see you. Barricade, I, I dig your channel. Great stuff. Well, thank you, Barricade. I, I appreciate that. Uh, I assume you do not have 7800 Popeye. You assume wrong, Jeremiah. I do have uh, 7800 Popeye. Um, the the very original release, the one with the uh, uh, what have you. Rami says, same situation, pro gamer. Yeah, I don't think it's uncommon. I just, uh, before I, I put out like a game room video, I just want to explain because it, it ain't going to be probably what a lot of you would ex expect you know it'd kind of be an exercise in, in maximizing a small space and uh uh i don't know how impressive it would be yeah celeste a cozy house is less to clean that's absolutely it too like it's it's less to care for and what ended up happening like even you know we probably could have got something slightly bigger but we actually, we kind of come to enjoy having a, such a small, like you said, like a cozy house. Um, the family is always close by. We ain't got a, like, I don't, even if I hit the lottery, I don't think I would want a mansion. You know, I don't want nothing that big. It's just not something that I desire um, as, as a person. So I, you know, this house was somewhat, you know, we bought it on necessity, but also it's, you know, we like it. It matches our, our lifestyle. It'd be great. The only thing I wish I had was a room for each kid. Um, you know, again, my two daughters bunk together, and that kids bunk together all the time, so it's not, like, that big of an issue. But it would have been nice to give them each their own area because, you know, the girls have to share a room, and they kind of half it. But there's always, always those arguments. Her stuff's on my side of the room, or... Or I don't want that there, and she wanted that there, and they fight about it. So, um, you know, you get that sort of things with with siblings. Even if they weren't sharing rooms, they, they'd find something to fight about. I think we all know that. Like, sometimes I think they just fight just to fight. When you, when you hear the stuff they're fighting about, um, like, I think they, they fought one time because the other one was breathing annoying. So, you know, kids are... Are going to fight. But anyway, that that's my rant about <laughs> about having a small house. Uh, and thank you again, Hugo. We'll we'll do that um, tour. Definitely will. It'll be it'll be a short one though. <laughs> it'll be one of those. Okay, if you turn to the left, you'll see this. To the right, you'll see that, and we're done. Um. Let's see. Uh, Splendid design. I always love this game. Yeah, uh, Ninja Golf is is a love it or hate it game, and, and I love it. Uh, Socrates sixty three. We never use the the formal dining room, and it either gets repurposed or just gathers dust. Yeah, that that's kind of the same situation here. And like we never host holidays or anything like that either. So, you know, we had a table for a long time, and it kind of became. Up Beyond, yeah, I'll be honest, it was kind of a catch-all for, for everything that we just either didn't want to deal with or weren't prepared to, so uh, repurposing it wasn't that bad. Jolt 7800, I, I must confess, I usually eat off a TV tray. Yeah, that, that's what we do anymore. When the kids were younger, we did uh, have family dinners, like when, when they were in grade school and stuff, but now that they're all in high school, uh, we still talk and stuff, but we, we don't do the table thing no more. Nintendo lost the rights to Popeye, and now a garbage company has the IP. Who has the IP, Ramey? I, uh, I thought I knew it one time, but I honestly, I can't think of it. Toe Muncher. We love Toe Muncher here. Uh, wasn't Popeye around the 1940s era? I don't know how it was so popular in 1980s. Um, I remember Popeye cartoons growing up. I think it was just one of those things. It was just a cartoon that was always around. Get Lost Games. Good to see you. Glad to have you here. When the best game or the console is ninjas and golf, let's go. <laughs> let it go. Atari Twenty Six Hundred had actually has good games. The game for me is fine. Is the line for graphics over gameplay? Yeah, that's. Uh, I I respect your opinion. Get Lost Games. I I don't know. Uh, it's not for everybody. I I like to describe it as what people who don't play video games when they think of video games they think of something like Ninja Golf. Um, but I I love it. I love Ninja Golf. It's great. Um. Yeah, Popeye, the original sponsor, Popeye Can Spinach. Yeah, I 
Oh, my grandma had, uh, she always had Popeye brand, uh, canned spinach. Um, and I, I would always ask her to eat it because it had Popeye on it. And if it has a cartoon character on it, it can't be bad. Um, and mind you, I was like, probably like four or five at the time. I'd be like, grandma, I want the, the Popeye can. And she would say, no, you're going to waste it. I don't want to. And finally she caved in and gave it to me and said, I, you have to eat the whole thing. Um, and I remember just <laughs> feeling very betrayed by Popeye at that point. So I was like, well, this ain't good at all. <laughs> this is a uh, disgusting canned uh, green gunk. But uh, no, I do remember the Popeye canned spinach. Uh, very smart branding there. <laughs> yeah, I haven't thought about that in years. Thank, thanks for bringing that up, uh, wh whoever said that. I can't look right the second. But yeah, the Popeye can spinach. I don't, they don't have that anymore, do they? I have not seen that um, Popeye can spinach in a long time. If they do have it, I'd like to get it. If, I don't know. I'm not very, <laughs> I'm not very talented or skilled, but I'd like to get it for the Popeye video, just so like, like if I was like an AVGN type guy um, and I did those kind of videos, I'd like to do a scene where like Popeye beats me up or the game beats me up and I have to suck down the the can through uh, a pipe or something like Popeye used to do in the cartoons. Um, but yeah. Popeye brand spinach. So the dragons get faster and faster. This is probably the coolest part of the game for me. Um, the dragon battles. Timing is terrible right now. Uh, this very much is skill based too. You have to have the timing down and correct. I don't think we're going to beat this one unless we get a, a extra life pickup, guys. I think we... we might be toast and i what's funny is these games are ones i thought we could uh complete easily i know we can beat all the mario uh, nintendo games because we'll do we'll do uh we have to do a full cycle on those on one should we make it really hard and do one life or one continue or uh i don't know but we'll we'll figure out uh, uh how we will declare those uh victories or not um, Ramey, thanks for bringing up the Popeye can spinach. I remember that. Hit the like button, guys. Like Hugo said, please, if, if you're at all entertained, please do that. Um, Splendid Design, I think, need an indie reboot of this game. Yeah, uh, or a, a recharge game like somebody else brought up. There's a lot of neat things you could do with that. Get Lost Games, love your content, brother. Well, thank you very much. That, that means a lot to me, and... We don't have to agree on everything, guys. I mean, the stuff I like uh, doesn't have to be the stuff you like, but we can always, uh, you know, talk about it and ha have a, a discussion or whatever. So uh, thanks for the support, Get Lost Games. Uh, splendid design. Canned veggies are the wrong way to eat veggies. Yeah. No, I, I found that out that day. Um, I did. Toe Muncher. We love Toe Muncher here. Uh, I still have some old DVD of Popeye. I remember when they were on... Or I remember where Popeye and Son went to the zoo. Yeah, that... I don't think I ever had any pop. Well, I definitely didn't have DVDs, but... Um, Sabak, Sabak own, has the game rights. Interesting. Okay. An AVGN episode on Popeye would be cool. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Mike. Like, that, that'd be a neat thing to do. I wish I could do that. Um, they sell Popeye spinach where I live in the South. Okay, so yeah, I guess I could do something like that. Uh, just play in advanced. The 2021 Popeye game was horrible. Uh, it was delisted. Huh, I didn't know there was a 2021 Popeye game. It's always a shame when they take uh, beloved properties like that and just ruin them. Um, I guess, though, I mean, today's day and age, Popeye's probably more of a forgotten type thing. But for those of us that grew up, I mean, even in, like you said, the 80s, I remember Popeye cartoons being on TV. Um, you know, they maybe weren't the most popular thing, but they, they were definitely along for, around for a long time. And again, there we did a couple quick screen transitions to move ahead a bit. Um, 
and, and it kind of helps you in, in preserving your life and whatnot. We also asked David Dent. Well, it's funny with that interview we did, me and Vinny with David Dent, is we had uh, played Ninja Golf separately um, in preparation for the interview, and Vinny had like some technical questions like, I was playing Ninja Golf the other day, and I noticed that you got more better power-ups in the forest areas, and you didn't seem to get any in, in this particular area. And he's like, so what? what's the programming secret behind that? And David Dent was just like, uh, you just, you get them when you get them. There ain't no secret. But Vinny was sure he had, like, cracked this code on uh, how to get the best items on Ninja Golf and how you'd want to go through... Uh, the wooded areas to get the best stuff because that's where he got all the cool stuff and and David shot that down pretty quick like I I know for a fact that I didn't program the game like that so that that was it's always a lot of fun when uh you realize how as humans we kind of overthink a lot of this stuff and the the truth is usually so much more simple than what we uh we made it out to be um but that's a memory from that interview I'll always enjoy and again, if you want to watch it, it's on the channel. I think we were called the um, Turi 7800 Forever podcast at the time. Um, but just look up David Dent interview or, or Tari, you know, Ninja Golf interview or something. It, it'll pop up. Okay, got to get my timing back in line here. I am way off. There we go. Okay. I'm a little early there. A little late there. There we go. Walmart has the Popeye spinach. Okay, so I, I just haven't been looking for it is what it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's still all over the place. There's also a Popeye movie with Robin Williams during the 80s. Yeah, that's right. I forgot all about that. Uh, Mike Mayberry, Popeye still comes on regular TV. Oh, MeTV. MeTV's great. I love MeTV. Um, Popeye was a favorite on the 2600. First game I put on my uh, Game Station Pro. Very cool. Yeah, Popeye was a great arcade game for sure. Um, oops. Oops, what the heck? Just absolutely getting bashed there. <laughs> I was too busy thinking about Popeye and not playing the game. Oh, this might be it, guys. Oh, we needed a, a big health pickup here. Yep, yep, that's it, guys. <laughs> we uh, definitely brought shame onto our clan and our loved ones uh, and our family um, with this edition of Man vs. 7800. Um, again, I, I know I could have beat it, but in a much less entertaining form. So I hope you guys appreciate the L I took just to make sure you all enjoyed yourselves. Um, and I hope you did... Um, you know, and enjoy the gameplay a little bit for what it was. Um, it's always a great time when we get together. We play uh, a little bit of Atari on Saturday morning. R.A.P. Atari Networks Ninja. Thank you, Splendid Design. Yes, we uh, we will greatly miss our, our ninja. Uh, he was very, very much um, not very skilled in the arts of ninjutsu, but he tried uh, his best. So again, the next episode of Man vs. 7800 is going to be April uh, 27th. Uh, we were going to do Fight Night, but you know what? We, we got a, a nice $5 donation, uh, which I appreciate. And we're going to go ahead and do an all-Nintendo um, live stream. Nintendo on the 7800, that is. We'll do DK, DK Jr., and uh, Mario Brothers on that stream. Um, that'll also be the stream I'm... 99% sure where we'll do the giveaway, so you might want to join in just for that. The rules for the giveaway will be in a video on Tuesday. We'll have a special video that will say something like Atari Network update and 2600, 2500 subscriber giveaway. Um, somebody suggested I should, instead of doing the normal milestones, do 2600, 
5200 and 7800 again another idea that seemed so uh obvious and i just didn't think of it but i think i'm gonna steal that um so hopefully we're up to 2600 by the time i uh tuesday comes around um but yeah we'll, we'll have the rules for the giveaway what you need to do if you enjoyed yourself hit the thumbs up button make sure you check out the atari network discord i always have it linked in the descriptions of the videos um i'll put it somewhere on the the channel for you guys to find it it'll be in the channel description the computer there needs that extra life why he just bypassed it um but anyway um if you want the merch the merch is again back up uh on the uh, uh merch store that's always in the uh uh, descriptions and stuff too uh good stream says get lost thank you get lost games i appreciate it uh Raimi nintendo released the rights from king features rights fell back to king features i'm sorry Raimi. i don't under that that message <laughs> a little odd toe muncher we love toe muncher here it's mostly likely sebac bought it from nintendo or universal studio sold it to them since it was under ip Good job, Pro Gamer. Thank you very much. The actual arcade game should still be with Nintendo. You would hope so. It's in a gray area. Um, again, if you're interested, uh, patreon.com slash 7800ProGamer. That's the official Atari Network um, Patreon. And uh, with all that, I think we're going to wrap it up, guys. Um, thanks for joining us on Man vs. 7800. Remember, it's like Saturday morning cartoons, but you're watching a middle-aged man play uh, video games. <laughs> So I guess there's nothing like Saturday morning cartoons. Um, appreciate all the support, guys. Appreciate you coming and watching. Uh, thanks a lot. Hit the like button on your way out. And we will see you on tomorrow's uh, review that we have coming out. It is Cash Cow DX and um, the other game, the Dodo, Donut Dodo. So we have those reviews tomorrow and then the video on Tuesday. Don't miss them. With all that said, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, thanks a lot, guys, and remember to stay classy, Atarians.